Wild one everyone, welcome to Cooking with Kunji. Today, I'm gonna to be making some jerk chicken. I'm gonna do a huge batch of jerk chicken. This is four chickens and I got two whole chicken breasts. Um, I have already prepped this chicken from yesterday and what I did, I also used a jerk seasoning that I personally made and I'll put that in the card up above because I'm gonna launch both these videos at the same time. One jerk chicken and one with the jerk seasoning. Also, cut up my veggies, my onions, my peppers. Everything has been marinating since last night. So, let's take a look, see how they turned out. And I'm going to show you how I make my jerk chicken, especially a big batch. Stay tuned on Macarena Boy. My method for making jerk chicken is a little bit different from other people's. I like to put my chicken in the oven for about 30 minutes and let it pre-cook just a little bit. And then I get it on the grill and I finish it there. So this is what I says four whole chickens that I've cut in half. And this is going to be done like about an hour and a half. We're going to have some delicious jerk chicken for dinner. All these seasonings and herbs smelling really good right now. As you can see, I have a couple boneless, skinless chicken breasts right here. Those are for a different recipe that I'm gonna make later this week. Stay tuned for that. So my oven is now at 370 and I'm gonna do this for 30 minutes. This is really just going to be starting the cooking process and we're going to let that cook and then we'll come back and check it out. Right now I'm going to set up my grill with my charcoal. I'm using real lump charcoal, not briquette. chips and wood chunks and then mix in with the charcoal. Only the real ones know the struggle. I'm giving the fire some time to kind of break down because I want more heat than I want flames for doing the jerk chicken. It's really going to be a slow cook over the flame. So that's why I did it in the oven to kind of speed up the process. That way cooking it over the grill doesn't take forever and reduces the chances of your chicken getting really burnt. ready for the chicken. So I have this juice saved right here with the seasonings and what I'm gonna do is intermittently I'm gonna take the chicken off the grill dip it in this keep it coated that will put that oil back on the skin all over the chicken and kind of keep you know all that juice locked in. I also have a beer. This is a Heineken. Doesn't really matter. I, I just use any beer I got in the fridge. 
and I'll use that to baste the chicken from time to time. All right, just watch this process. Just want a side note to serve with our jerk chicken today. Have some sorrel. You can see my sorrel video up in the cards. This was made back in November, so almost three months. So it should be oh, nice and fermented. And that flavor. So we're gonna pour this out, strain off all the stuff that I put in there. And we're gonna let this chill serve with our jerk chicken. This smells so good. In here I had some ginger, some cinnamon, some allspice berries, and some rice grains. Yeah. Also have some rum to add, just if needed. There is already rum in here, and it's fermented where it's got that wine flavor, so We'll see how it is later. All right. This is the almost final stage. I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, use this juice to coat the chicken. And this is one last time where we're gonna just make sure we give it some protection here. Skin's getting nice and crispy. Chicken is done. So this chicken was done really well. Take a look at it. The chicken is cooked really evenly. There is uh, no redness inside. Just the right amount of spice, I think. And of course, you can season your jerk chicken your own way. I really like that citrusy vibe that I got from uh, that I'm getting from this citrus jerk that I put in here. Again, the card for that video is going to be linked up above, so you can check that out. Delicious. Thank you for watching this video today. Steps and ingredients are going to be in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We have some jerk chicken. I'm going to show you how it looks. Serving it up with the sorrel. Remember we made that sorrel video earlier. This is a sorrel that's been made for over three months. So it's really fermented. I'm going to show you the photos and see how those look. If you cook anything that you see on my channel, don't forget to take photos and tag me on Instagram. See you in the next one.